wicked nice out right now, like perfect temperature. The night before South by Southwest, and it's also a Thursday night. Let's go. Smells like super smoky out, super nice. Great vibes. Man, Austin is amazing. This is the best bruschetta I've ever had. Did not expect to have like some of the best Italian food here in Austin, but here we are. The Austin food has been unreal so far. Is it just me or is this fork like an odd shape? Like, look at this. Isn't that kind of weird? Or is that just me? I don't know. Had a great meal. Just got to Rainy Street. Decided to come back here for like the third time. Honestly, this is like my favorite bars, period. <laughs> Crazy. We got Peacock Playground, we got some chess, some Queen's Gambit, these things. South by Southwest is gonna be crazy. Kind of quietly because some of my friends are sleeping at the airbnb i think that was a perfect start in a sense to south by southwest especially going out the night before it all begins i was able to network with a lot of different people a lot of different companies as we're setting up getting everything ready especially on rainy street so i'm getting even more excited about this next 10 days which is going to be crazy it's going to be non-stop a lot of footage i'm going to be filming a lot of events I'm going to be going to, but the biggest thing, especially when I've talked to a lot of people who've gotten to South by Southwest, this is my first time ever going, is just the connections you're going to make are insane. I think the biggest thing is really going to be managing sleep and going out and everything, trying to take it easy and pacing yourself for the next 10 days. I mean, it's one thing to do a three-day music festival. It's another thing to do a 10-day I don't know if I call it South by Southwest a festival or an event or events or whatever. At this time, I am signed up for about 250 different events that are going on for the next 10 days. <laughs> so there's going to be a lot that's happening. <sighs> it all begins. So it's freezing out for the first day of South by Southwest. As you can probably tell by my face, I didn't expect it to be this cold because I'm wearing this sweatshirt, which is like the only warm piece of clothing I brought for this month and I've been wearing it like half the time because it's like 40 out right now. So this sauce, the one on the left, the white one, is spicy maple bacon sauce. That is legit one of the best sauces I've ever had, period. Gala of Austin, 
minus the weather right now because this is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> rocking the uh, White Claw sunglasses. So we are in the convention center right now. One of my friends is snagging a South by Southwest pass. And then we're gonna keep bouncing around. You know, Ripple was a great event. Then went to Peacock at the convention center now. We're gonna be doing a White Claw tasting in a little bit. So a lot going on already on the first day. So these are some new White Claw flavors that have not been released yet. So we're doing a tasting today that just started. So these are the four ones right here, the uh, surf flavors. So we're gonna try some out. Oh, that's really good actually. Insane actually. Some of my favorite White Claw flavors yet. What's insane about South by Southwest, I don't have a pass, but all these events are free and almost every single one is pretty much open bar. So unlimited free drinks and unlimited free food. So the name of the game is really pacing yourself. So I actually have a non-alcoholic margarita, just like margarita mixed with some sparkling water and whatnot. Taking it easy, you know, just kind of enjoying the day, but already there's so much going on. I think what I've loved so far just about this day even though it's only been a few hours, it's just walking around and there's so many little like pop-ups, so many little events and attractions to check out. I've been wanting to see this for a while. This is kind of like the electric VW bus from the old school, you know, VW wagon almost, kind of reinvented in modern day times. And this is the ID Buzz, and this is the first time it's been revealed out in public, which is pretty awesome, and it looks sick. So this is a massive blockchain event, all about cryptocurrency, everything crypto, NFTs, uh, Web3. What's crazy is when looking at all these events in South by, I'm not joking about like a third of them were all related to crypto. I did Ripple earlier today. A lot of stuff happening in crypto right now, not just in the world, but especially here at South by. kind of loud in here and kind of dark, but we're about to see a visual representation of the blockchain of all the transactions that are happening here at South by Southwest. You can hear it in the background. It sounds pretty cool, so let's try it out.
bar right now and someone's showing me a video and it's the one featuring my Saturday Day song, Pachero, let's go. What a crazy first day to kick off South by Southwest. I mean, bouncing around today was awesome, checking out so many different events. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm kind of glad I didn't get a pass because the passes are, no exaggeration, like a couple grand. But going to so many different events, a lot of them are completely free. Like I said earlier to you, completely open bar, free food, and went to so many great ones like Ripple today, went to Peacock and NBC, the blockchain one with Fox. Also got to have some free C4 energy drinks, got to try out some unreleased new White Claw flavors, got to see the first unveiling of the VW electric bus in person. And lastly, which was a great cherry on top for the day, I was at a bar talking to people about St. Patrick's Day because I'm going to be here for St. Patrick's Day in Austin. And they were like, oh yeah, you got to check out this bar. Here's a video that the bar made about their St. Patrick's Day festival. And I was watching it being like, wait a minute, I recognize this song. That's my song. It turns out this bar, when making a promo video, used my song in their promo video on Instagram and social media and everything, which was epic. So for tonight, I'm actually hanging in because tomorrow I have a big day. Tomorrow for South By might actually be the biggest day of the entire festival, and it's only the second day in, at least for me personally. One, I'm gonna be going all the way to Dripping Springs, which is gonna be like, uh, it's gonna probably be like an hour there, an hour back, so two hours round trip. I might have to spend a lot in in Ubers. It's gonna be worth it though, because I'm going to Jensen Apples Brewery Family Business Beer Company. They're also having the Impala there tomorrow from the show Supernatural, that's gonna be awesome. And then when I get back, I'm going to Fluff House. Dylan Francis is performing tomorrow night here in Austin. Again, this is all free too. What a crazy start. And the insane part is things are only gonna get crazier from here. For today, we're gonna go to Jensen Ackles Brewery Family Business Beer Company. just got here and this is way bigger than I imagined. Plus, is this another Impala? Let's say, Honeybee. Had a couple drinks so far here. I mean, this place, one is way bigger than I imagined. I mean, look at this whole layout. Kind of go with all the trees, nature. There's a playground all the way back there. You can see this the building and everything, the Impala. I don't know if you can see it, but it's over there. Yeah, you can see a little bit. Hard to put that in the video. But it's also what's crazy is I was talking to a couple of employees here and they said, look, this is the busiest it's ever been, ever. It took us maybe a half an hour to grab one drink. But which, it's pretty cool though, you know, the fact that there's so many people here. A lot of people are fans of Supernatural. A lot of people here just to listen to great music and people here for crawfish, good beers, great vibes so far. Get funky. Just got inside of Bluff World. A lot going on right now already. This is right now, being honest, one of the most anticipated events of all of South by Southwest.
of South by Southwest, first stop, we gotta get some Cheetos. Uh, Alexa, start movie night. Okay, starting movie night.
Day four has been great so far. I'm exhausted, as you could tell. Went to Cheetos. I will also say I've done a couple videos as like their own about like Fluff House and Jensen Ackles Brewery and Doodles as well. Just because I was actually doing press for them, I'm doing a lot more media coverage for a lot of different events. So for tonight, trying to figure out exactly what I want to do. Definitely going to take it easy. Pace myself again. I have another six days, but South by Southwest continues. <laughs> These things just rose out of nowhere. I wonder what that is. That is crazy. It's definitely working. I mean, it looks so cool. Yeah, it looks it's really like cool. Damn. And people are stopping in their cars when driving. So it's a QR code. I'm gonna try it. Let's see if this works. I feel like the past four days have just been super eventful and ridiculous. The longest four days of my life in a good way. I mean that in a good way from all the events I've been doing, especially yesterday, starting out with the hands-free house at Cheetos, then kind of bouncing around. Last night, I wasn't too sure what to do. I actually stuck with non-alcoholic drinks. So I had some non-alcoholic beers and shots or whatever. So shout out to Buckshot for making me all these different non-alcoholic shots just for fun. Then bounced to Casino El Camino. Been wanting to go there for a while. They are known for having some of the best burgers in Austin. And it was ridiculous. No exaggeration. Lived up to the hype. I had an incredible burger with pulled pork on top of it. Absolutely ridiculous. And then to finish off the night, because I was like, you know what? I might call it early. I've already bounced around all day and night. Might call it like an early night. Early for South by Southwest. Was walking to a convenience store and then saw that entire drone display for like Halo, Paramount Plus and that QR code. Side note too, the QR code didn't work. I don't know if it's because the trees were blocking it or I don't know, whatever the case was, but that was eerie because as you saw, everybody kind of pulled over when driving being like, what is this thing? And also everyone kind of agreed. I don't know what it was about it. It was oddly creepy. I don't know if it's like a humans versus AI thing or maybe the fact that it's so new, like I can see that being the future of marketing that you get a bunch of drones together, you program them in such a way that regardless of where they are, they can give this huge ad or present this huge ad. Got me all that shirt ready. Day five, South by Southwest continues. Let's do it. One of the best parts about South by Southwest, especially bouncing around so far, is honestly just walking around and seeing what you find. Another big suggestion, because I've had some people say, hey Mark, you know, how do you find all these events and you don't have a South by Pass? The two best resources are When, Where, What. I have to give a huge shout out to them. They are a great resource. Another one is Fest Experts on Twitter. Both these organizations show you all these events going on right now and in real time. Heard about another big event that's going on right now. So just kind of bouncing around, enjoying South by. It's only day five still. So we're like not even halfway through, technically. 
And also too, as a side note, you think for a 10 day festival or 10 day experience that people would take it pretty easy? No. What's really cool about this entire Porsche event is all these cars have not been seen before by the public. It's the first time they've unveiled them and these are all different concept cars from a bunch of different places, whether it's a video game, other concept ideas they had. Pretty awesome. So right behind me, they're giving away free water. But what's unique about this is it's free because the ads on the bottle pay for the ability for it to be free. So it's a genius idea this company's doing where basically completely free water, you can have as much as you want, and the ads on the bottle pay for it. Honestly, this is the most creative idea I've heard of in a while. It's crazy that right now it's like Tuesday in the afternoon and it's this packed, every bar is raging. I can't believe I'm saying this, but South by is now getting even crazier. So I was told by a lot of people that the second weekend is where things really ramp up, which is insane to say because already the past five days have been nuts. Another big pro tip, I'll probably do a video in the future of like seven things I wish I knew before going to South by, but a big pro tip honestly is one of the best parts is going out sometimes by yourself. I kind of prefer going out by myself a lot of the times, which I did yesterday, because I just walk around, I find one spot, I'm like having a great drink there, meeting people, networking, looking at Twitter, Instagram, you know, like I mentioned before with Fest Experts and When We're What and the Blueprint and the Dirty Team and everything they're doing. 
and looking at Twitter and seeing, oh shoot, there's a big event that's going on right now. Went to the Canadian event yesterday, hearing about it on Twitter. Then I went to the Porsche event, which was super cool to see all those unreleased concept cars. Then was walking to Rainy Street, bumped into another event, then got some free water, which was a great idea, and then partied on Rainy Street at Idle Hands, and then went out last night, kind of bouncing around Rainy and 6th Street. It was a great day and a great night as well. But one thing I've noticed especially is the lines and the intensity is starting to ramp up a lot. Tuesday at 3 p.m. on Rainy Street felt crazier than like Friday night at midnight on Rainy Street, which would almost be the opposite. You feel like we're officially more than halfway there but things are gonna get a lot more insane from here. Super nice out right now. Great temperature, gonna be a great day. A lot of stuff going on. The energy is ramping up here in Austin, Texas. This is awesome. I'm currently at the convention center and we're about to check out an insane exhibit. that bridge together entertainment the science of sound and wellness with the concept to really help people to connect with sound beyond hearing so sound the frequency of sound are super powerful that can help us to relax to feel better okay. hearing sound yep and your feelings that sounds and pun intended that sounds insane that's awesome <laughs> it's really giving a testimony right now about the hum. That was an incredible experience. I mean, I think they said it was about five and a half minutes. It honestly felt like 30 seconds. That was the first thing. It felt like an entire body massage, but not like in terms of like a traditional massage, but a vibrating massage throughout your entire body that was synced with the music. It was a phenomenal experience. exaggeration that brisket sandwich from rolling smoke barbecue is honestly one of the best things i've ever tasted in my entire life Everyone's Irish tonight.
Scottish Day. Everyone's Irish tonight. <laughs> The last few days of South by Southwest are upon us. These next few days are going to be nonstop. Nothing else to say. Let's just jump into it. <laughs> 